Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the date behavior in the Outstandings report of Tally Prime and how to view the report for a specific period. In Tally Prime, you can record credit sales with bill reference as applicable. After recording credit sales, you can track the due amounts that your parties owe you using the bills receivable report. The report displays the outstanding amount receivable during a specified period. So, if you record any transaction in Tally Prime as credit sales on a particular date and specify the due date in the billwise detail screen in Tally Prime, then the transaction will reflect in the bills receivable report. Press Alt G, type or select bills receivable and press enter. As you can see, the transaction is reflecting here. Moreover, the report is displaying all the transactions for which payment is due as on date. Now, let us understand the date behavior of this report. Consider that you want to view the bills receivable report for a particular period. Click period or simply press F2 and then change it to the period for which you want to view the report. As you can see, the bills receivable report displays the pending amount as on date. For example, if you are viewing the report for 1st July 2021 to 31st July 2021, the report will display all the transactions with pending payment from the previous period. This is because the outstanding amount gets carried forward until the payment is made and receipt is recorded in Tally Prime. So, even if the transaction is recorded in the month of June and the payment is still due in the month of July, the report will display it as a bill receivable in the month of July. In the due on column, you can see that the entries are till July 2021. However, if you want to view the report based on the dates on which the transactions were recorded, you can do so by using the range of information in report option. Press Alt F12. The range of information in report screen opens. Under type of information, select bill. Now, the field named having will allow you to select the filter you want. As you want to view the transactions recorded in a particular period, say July, you need to select date as the filter. Under range of information, select greater than. Specify 1st July 21. Now select and bill and date. Under range of information, select lesser than. Specify 1st August 21. This means that the dates of transactions will fall in the range you will select here. For viewing transactions in July 2021, the date should be greater than 1st July 2021 and lesser than 1st August 2021 as we just selected. Now press enter on end of list. In the date column, you can see that all the transactions are recorded in the month of July 2021. As you saw in outstanding reports of Tally Prime, you can view the transactions for which payments are due till a particular period by just changing the period of the report. On the other hand, you can also view the transactions recorded in a particular period using the range of information in report filter. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com.